Hey guys, I want to give y'all an update on Dina slash Ruby Rose, Rebel Ruby, whatever she wanted to be called on there. Um, so I know I've already posted a few things. So if you don't know already, um, Dina is still in ICU. She's still fighting. Uh, she's still very much as a fighter. Um, so I am updating, posting updates on my personal Facebook page, which is just uh, Jason Dina. Uh, we don't accept regular friend requests for privacy with Roxy, uh, but we are also on Facebook. There's a fan page for our show, our story. Uh, the community tab on our show, our story on YouTube, and also on My Greenville. Um, my Greenville, Tennessee, if you're a member of that group as well, uh, it's pretty much the same post across the board. So if you see one, you're going to see pretty much all of them. I want to tell you all, it's been overwhelming how much love and support you all have given us. Um, we're just a small family. It's just... It's just the three of us, pretty much. I mean, we have extended family. You know, uh, I still have my mom. Uh, she has family as well. And Ruby still has her family. Um, but we're a very close-knit family between me, Roxy, and Ruby. Uh, we love each other. We've always loved each other. And we love being with each other. But the outpouring of love y'all have shown to us has been so overwhelming. Um... I want to personally thank each and every one of y'all for all the love and the prayers and the um, willingness to help us. Uh, I want to tell y'all, Roxy is very well taken care of. She is in great shape. Uh, she's pretty self-sufficient. She's a very, very smart, intelligent young woman. Uh, I probably don't take as good care as myself, but I am very well i'm very well fed trust me y'all know this whole channel is about food i'm gonna eat um i'm a little worn thin just from back and forth hospital home home hospital but i'm okay uh so i want to talk a second about ruby and what's going on with her so today they did a spinal tap to check for uh meningitis they don't know if she has it or not they ran a plethora of tests on her. So if you haven't been following along, she tested positive for COVID. She had ketoacidosis and she also had a um, slight case of pneumonia when she went in the hospital. Uh, fast forward two days. Uh, she's not talking. Uh, we can get some grunts out of her, but she's not talking. 99% um, of the time she has her eyes closed. Um, they have oxygen on her. She is not on a respirator just yet. I don't guess. I'm not a medical person, people. Um, but they, today they checked her for meningitis. They were pumping her. <laughs> the nurse told me today that she has never seen a patient with as much antibi antibiotics going into her than anybody else ever. Uh, Y'all know from our history, Ruby is a fighter. Uh, I've said this jokingly, but it is a true story. Sorry, there is a light right here. It is a true story. The whole time Ruby and I have been together, we got married in 97, and the whole time we've been together, she has at least 12 times medically documented been told that she should have died from something uh she's a cancer survivor she's had massive strokes she's uh roxy was a preemie baby uh from a very odd standpoint uh we'll go into some of these much much later i am much too tired to get into this uh scenario but Ro uh, ruby is very much a fighter very strong-willed, very determined woman. Uh, we love her. We want nothing but the best with her. So, as far as her salvation, she is a 
thousand percent saved. Uh, we have talked about that a million billion times in our relationship. We're very devoted Christians. We thoroughly believe the Bible and you know, Jesus Christ died on the cross and saved us from our sins and saved us from death, hell. We know that a thousand percent. Ruby and I have talked about this extensively. She is very good if the Lord decides to take her home. We don't want her to go home. We would love to have her with us forever. I never ever want to be without her. But I do want to let y'all know that if something happens, Ruby is in a really good place on either stance. She can either be up in heaven with Jesus or she can be right here on her little throne in our little house on our little channel. We'll get her a crown when she comes back. We'll set her up with a crown. Um, I know I'm a bit rambling. I promise you, I... I've only had like three hours sleep today. Um, I also want to comment on the comments. Uh, so, like I said, I'm posting on four different places. Uh, I'm getting a lot of comments and prayers, and I love and I read each and every single one. I promise you that, and I know that each and every single one of you mean it, and I know that God is hearing these prayers. But I am also going to have to step back. I've been trying to love every single comment on every single platform. Well, I've kind of painted myself in a corner between wearing myself thin, between going to the hospital at home, and then when I'm in the hospital, I am by Ruby's side. I'm not there to sit on my phone. I'm not there to wait it out. I am there to help Ruby. I don't want to just sit there and watch or holler at the nurses, which there's nothing wrong with that if that's your thing. We've been together forever, it seems, and I love her, and I want to help her, and I want to be the best for her, and those nurses have other patients to take care of, and Ruby is very much a handful at this particular moment. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. So I'm going to taper back from loving comments, and that does not mean that I'm not reading them. It does not mean that I've quit caring. It means I have to step back a little bit so I have some wits about me. I am so tired, but, you know, we'll just keep on going. Uh, I am resting. I don't want to hear a lot of comments about you need to take care of yourself. Trust me, I know. And I do. I also know the limits on myself and my body. I've been all over the uh, all over the pendulum, um, but I want to tell y'all from our show, our story, all three of us, because I guarantee you, Roxy would agree with me, Ruby would agree with me a billion times that the outpouring of love from this community, uh, the YouTube community, the Facebook community, uh, the Greenville community, the family community, is so, so, so much more than we ever expected. Uh, we started this just for a hobby. And that's all it is for us, it's a hobby. We make. This, I, I literally, it's like $100 like every three to four months is what we're earning off of YouTube. So it's not like this is a career choice that we are doing here. This is a thousand percent just us doing what we do, making memories and recording it. We have a very loving family and we love each other and we love spending time with each other and we love sharing those experiences with y'all and we love locally owned places. I love arts and crafts. I love little restaurants. I love places that surprise me. I, we live for that. We live for unique. I love helping out local communities and we're small and we understand that, but it's a little bit, we can try to help. 
Y'all, I've rambled on. It's been 10 minutes. At least I'm watching the timer. I just want to say from the full, fullness of my heart, thank you. I will continue to post daily updates. Um, like I said before, on our Facebook page, my personal Facebook page. So if you're a friend or family, uh, you know our Facebook page. Our fan page on Facebook, uh, it's Our Show Our Stories. Uh, it had to be slightly changed. Our Show Our Story, Facebook, for whatever reason, banned it for no reason. But that's a whole nother issue. So Facebook, Our Show Our Stories. I'm going to try to put the links down below. I'm very tired, so this will be a very late upload, upload for me. Um, and also on our YouTube channel, which this will be tied to the YouTube channel, uh, the community tab, the message you see is the same across all the platforms. I'm not altering it. I just want to make sure that whoever wants to be informed can be informed. And I want to make sure that I don't miss anybody. So I'm telling everybody except for some extremely close friends and family this is the way I've decided to share this information. Um, again, thank you from the fullness of our hearts. Uh, be diligently praying for us. We need it. They are greatly appreciated. Um, I can't think of anything else. And I'm going to try to get... This is almost a little bit easier for me as opposed to actually writing something. And the fact that I'll have to edit this and put it up. Y'all, I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you for the love and support. I'm going home, spend some time with Roxy and Russo and grab something to eat. And then I'm going to bed and crashing unless the hospital decides to give me a call. So from our show, our story, we love y'all. Good night.